Hi, this is Anoop. Today we are going to talk about Windows 11 run commands. What are the most useful run commands in Windows 11? Run commands are nothing but the commands you can run from run box. If you right click on a start menu, you will get an option to have run box. So that is one we are talking about. I will show you in the demo. Rather than going through a lot of UI options, settings page, etc, etc, you can directly get into a utility or get into an application using run commands there are run shortcuts available for a lot of applications lot of utilities in windows 11 so this is going to be very very useful for many of the windows 11 users so don't skip it let's go ahead and watch it out in this video i'm not going to go through a powerpoint presentation to show the concept of this because it is pretty simple straightforward as you can see over here this is the run box you can launch the run box from the start menu here right click on the start menu and you will get a run box over here if you click on this run button over here you will get the run box as you can see over here this is the run box we are talking about so over here you need to type in the command and click on ok so that is the only thing about the concept over here so this is to avoid going through all the applications etc and navigating through settings page different various settings page and finding out by particular utility or application etc so i normally use winword as a common application from run command so if i want to use microsoft word i use winword and if i want to use excel i use excel command from or run box over here recently hdmd community published an article about 53 most common run commands for windows let's go through that list and understand what does it and how how this works etc and how useful is this specifically there are a lot of not very popular run commands but they are very useful and see what is going to happen i am going to use this one that is double dots this command is used to open user folder if you want to open windows 11 user folder you need to use this double dot in the run box and then click on ok if you do that you would be able to see a file explorer open with users folder over there you would be able to see different user profiles etc etc now let's look into the next command over here slash command and this command is used to open the c drive if you want to open the c drive this is the command you want to use and then you can open the c drive from this so now you can see the c drive over here in the file explorer and the other command we are going to see is appvis.cpl this is most common command which I normally use to access program and features control panel or add remove programs etc. I'm going to click on ok now that will launch add remove programs from the legacy control panel utility. Calculator is another one command which I normally use. Character map is another command run command which is very useful. Clean MGR that is that is also very useful. Clean MGR is disk cleanup utility let's try that clean mgr and click on ok that is going to open the disk cleanup utility over here and you can clean up the system file systems etc etc this will speed up your windows 11 devices if you remove the temporary files or unwanted files etc and cmd is the common one which we normally use comp mgmd is the normal one which i use for opening computer management console let's try that comp management and click on ok this will open up the computer management from this place you can go to several places such as task scheduler device manager performance services and application etc etc so that is computer management and you can open control panel if you type control from run menu so this is the classic control panel which we don't use very regularly in windows 11 device the next option over here control folder is very interesting this command helps to access file explorer options so let's type control folders and click on ok you can see file explorer open coming out here with a lot of options like open each folder in the same window open each folder in its own 
Window, etc., etc. Device MGMT dot MSC is another useful command to launch Device Manager. If you want to launch Device Manager for some for some troubleshooting, this is the best command. Dev MGMT dot MSC. This will show you whether any driver issues in each device is connected, or is there any keyboard issue, or monitor driver issue, or network Wi-Fi driver issues, etc., etc. This is very useful the device manager command from run rather than going through all the settings page etc etc or you can use hdwwiz.cpl for the same thing this is for disk defragmenter utility if you want to open disk defragmenter utility this is the best command and just one command and you can open the disk defragmenter utility click on click on ok after entering this it will launch the disk defragmenter utility directly rather than going through all the complex control panel settings apps etc in windows 11 if you want to open disk management utility you can use this run command disk mgmt disk mgmt dot msc click on ok that will launch the disk management utility so over here you can see the disk options and you can format the disk etc from here another command which is very useful is direct x diagnostic tool so you can just type in dx diag from the run dx diag from the run and that will help you to launch the this particular diagnostic tool and this is very very useful i don't think many of the people who are using windows 11 know this enter the web url from run to open a website that's really interesting okay just enter the url just enter the url of the website you want to open and that will directly open the website if you type in the url in the run box over here and then click ok so the site is getting opened now see so that is the magic of run command and you can launch excel by just typing excel another one is microsoft edge this is also very useful if you want to launch microsoft edge browser User, you can use this run command and put that run command over here inside this run box okay microsoft edge and then click ok that will launch microsoft edge browser over here and explorer is for file explorer so windows 11 new file explorer if you want to open you just need to type explorer from run menu as you can see over here that will open the home page of explorer now there are more technical commands like firewall if you want to check the firewall port or details from windows defender firewall you can use firewall.cpl so that is going to open the defender firewall option magnify if you want to open the magnifier application you can just use magnify command magnify command from the run that will help you to launch the magnifier click on ok that's it another useful command main.cpl if you want to change something related to mouse or something it is very useful command eh? main.cpl if you click on ok from here now it will open the mouse properties and you can see all the things over there ms configure is one of the popular command from early days of windows ms config if you type in that will launch ms config application and then you would be able to see the start Startup options and normal boot options, general startup options, etc. etc. MS Paint, we all know what it is. MS Paint Paint application will open ms tsc we all know that is a rdp application this is interesting ms windows store that will open microsoft store application and you can open if you use a particular id etc then it will open that specific application so i used the specific one for icloud and the icloud application got opened within the windows store net plvis is for managing user accounts if you want to manage user accounts use this run command called net plvis is the run command which we can use to manage the users so if you want to manage the users and add users etc you can use this command optional features is another command which you can use to check what are the optional features enabled and how you can enable optional features etc optional features See, these are the 
features which are windows features and you can see some of the features are enabled some are not enabled etc etc osk is an interesting command that is for on screen keyboard that is very useful if i type osk you could see the on screen keyboard over here performance.mse that is for performance monitoring and there's a typo over there performance.mse so that is all about setting up performance monitors to analyze the pc performance etc how this works etc right so you can add different counters if you want windows power options you can use this command power cfg and powerpoint if you want to launch powerpoint application power pnt that is the run command for powerpoint application power pnt is the application which you want to use powerpoint will get opened now let's go to other options such as powershell you know what it is prefetch you know what it is regedit it is very commonly used resmon resmon is resource monitor this is very very useful in troubleshooting scenarios etc in the command box run command box over here you would be able to launch the resource monitoring tool and from there you can check the cpu network disk etc utilities services.msc that is very commonly used snipping tool that is also very commonly used application but i don't know how many of you use snipping tool so snipping tool got launched system property dialog box if you want to open system property dialog box to rename the system account etc this is very useful this dm.tpl so this is where you can see the computer name etc and if you want you can change it using this option task manager is another useful one if you want to launch task mgr utility you can use this option winver is check the version of windows temp is temporary folder winword is one of the most used run command in my windows history if you want to open word pad you can use this command right command over here right that will open word pad these are the top 50 run commands which is mentioned in the post also you can get the link to the post in the description of the video so do check that out now that you have seen lot of run commands a lot of very useful ones i like the single dot and double dot one very much and to open the powerpoint application magnifier on screen keyboard etc etc hope this was helpful to you thank you all for watching see you around